Providing you with information and not bearing you in detail has been a challenge these last few months. This coming Monday, our COVID-19 tracking dashboard will go live. This dashboard will inform you by tracking the number of students and staff members that have been required to quarantine for reasons related to COVID-19. The reasons for quarantine will be divided into three categories, positive case, close contact to a positive case, and experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. The dashboard will update every Monday morning with new data from the previous week and will be a great resource for us to all track the number of COVID-related quarantines that are happening in our schools. We will also be looking to gather information from our students beginning next week related to their experience with virtual instruction. We're turning to them to direct our focus on improving our practice in that instructional area. Next week, we will also be implementing a new program for student lunches. As you may have read in a communication via Skylar yesterday, the USDA has approved a nationwide waiver due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. This waiver allows all students to receive free meals regardless of socioeconomic status. This waiver is active through December 31st of this year or until funding is depleted from the USDA. We also want to clarify that if you so choose, you may order a meal pickup on virtual student days. Pre-order form links are sent to families each week. Meals that you pre-order are always available to pick up on Tuesdays at Fishers High School or Hamilton Southeastern High School between the hours of four and six. These meals will also be available to you free of charge through December 31st. We've all felt the effects of COVID in more than one way. Tonight, we typically gather for the Mud Sock football game. Per COVID-19 guidelines related to crowd attendance, only families of those participating in tonight's event will be watching from the stands. In addition, the Mud Sock VIP experience hosted by the Hamilton Southeastern Education Foundation has been canceled. This is a huge fundraiser for the nonprofit that gives so much back to our students, teachers, and schools. Instead, the foundation has created an alternate way to advance their mission while also celebrating the positive message of, we got this. The foundation is proud to feature, we got this face masks that are available for purchase beginning today through the end of September on the foundation's website. With each $25 donation, the foundation will mail a We Got This face mask to you, or you can choose to donate your purchase mask to an HSE student or teacher. Your support will help fund immediate needs and innovative ideas in the unique year ahead for the HSE schools. As a reminder, pre-K through four start at 50-50 or phase two on Tuesday. It was a different kind of start, but everything for the most part went smoothly. They had the chance to see their teachers face to face in person and know that everything is okay. This coming Wednesday is a blue day for our elementary students though. Grades five through 12 will begin phase two on September 17th. The blue group will attend on site Thursday and Friday. The red group will then be on site for the first time on Monday, September 21st. We look forward to seeing more of our students back on campus. Next week, I will also be presenting to the school board the resignation of our equity and inclusion officer, Dr. Erica Buchanan Rivera. She has accepted a position in the Washington Township District and will continue to do the important work that she conducted here, our best to her. And now the task of continuing that important work here will go on. More on that in the days to come. I'd like to conclude this update by expressing my gratitude to our teachers and staff for their hard work and attention to detail to craft and deliver innovative standards-based lessons to our students while our country continues to deal with a grappling pandemic. This isn't a situation we ever trained for or dealt with, and yet we're adapting it for both in-person and virtual students. This will be a school year for the history books. We're marking a new path for public education and what we do as educators and a community matters, not just for our current students, but also for the future. Together we're making it work and I thank each of you for your contribution to this dynamic enterprise that we call education. Be safe out there and have a great weekend. Thank you.